Hey fellow ham radio enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel. Today, we will be comparing two of the most talked about high frequency transceivers on the market, the Yaesu FT710 AESS and the ICOM IC7300. Both of these rigs pack a punch, but which one is the right fit for you? Stick around as we dive deep into their features, performance, and quirks to help you decide. And don't forget, you can check out the prices and find links to these radios in the description below. Let's kick things off by looking at the design and build quality of these two radios. Starting with the Yaesu FT710 AESS, this transceiver boasts a compact and robust design. It's built for portability without sacrificing functionality, making it a great choice for both home stations and field operations. The knobs and buttons are thoroughly laid out, and overall construction feels solid. The fan operates quietly, and the unit doesn't get warm even after extended use. A big plus for those long operating sessions. On the flip side, the ICOM IC7300 also features a compact design with a solid build. It feels sturdy and reliable, ready to withstand years of use. The touchscreen interface adds a modern touch, and the overall aesthetics are pleasing. Both radios are designed with durability in mind, but the FT710 edges out slightly in terms of portability. Now let's talk about what's under the hood, receiver performance. The Yaesu FT710 AESS is where things get really exciting. This radio offers exceptional receiver sensitivity and selectivity. It handles crowded bands effortlessly, allowing you to pick out weak signals even in challenging conditions. Its advanced SDR technology, inherited from Yesu's higher-end models like the FTDX101 and FTDX10, gives it a phenomenal edge. This isn't just marketing hype, the FT710 truly delivers outstanding performance. Meanwhile, the ICOM IC7300 isn't a slouch either. It features an RF direct sampling system that digitizes RF signals, resulting in minimal noise and excellent signal clarity. During contests or when the bands are packed, it performs admirably, letting you hear and work those elusive S0 to S1 signals surrounded by stronger stations. The digital filters are impressive, and with proper adjustment, you can eliminate overload problems that some operators encounter. Next up is transmit audio and microphone quality. The Yaesu FT710 AESS comes with the SSM75E microphone. While the stock mic gets the job done, it can be a bit bass heavy and wooly to some tastes. However, the radio offers extensive audio adjustments, and with a few tweaks, you can significantly improve the transmit audio quality. Swapping in a different microphone, like the Heel HC5 Element, can also make a world of difference, delivering superb audio reports from your contacts. On the other hand, the ICOM IC7300 delivers outstanding transmit audio right out of the box with its supplied hand mic. Operators receive excellent audio reports without needing to dive deep into settings or make additional adjustments. It's practically a set-it-and-forget-it situation which is fantastic if you prefer simplicity and ease of use. Let's discuss the user interface and how easy these radios are to operate. The Yaesu FT710 AESS features a high-resolution 4.3-inch color touch panel display. The interface is generally intuitive, and adding a mouse can enhance navigation. However, the spectrum scope can appear a bit spiky, lacking an averaging function, which might cause some eye fatigue over time. Additionally, certain operations, like switching between VFO, AB, and split mode, require you to turn off split mode first, which can be a bit cumbersome during quick operations. The ICOM IC7300 excels with its intuitive touchscreen interface. The menu system is straightforward, and the combination of physical buttons and touch controls makes for a seamless experience. The Spectrum Scope is praised for its clarity and includes averaging options to smooth out the display, reducing eye strain. Overall, it's user-friendly and suitable for both beginners and seasoned operators. A good Spectrum Scope can enhance your operating experience significantly. 
The Yaesu FT710 AESS offers a real-time spectrum scope with a 3DSS, three-dimensional spectrum stream feature. While it's fast and provides real-time feedback, it could benefit from an averaging option to smooth out the spiky display. The color customization is limited, and even when connected to an external monitor via DVI-D, the color options remain the same. It's functional, but leaves room for improvement in user customization. In contrast, the ICOM IC7300 Spectrum Scope is one of its standout features. It offers high-resolution, real-time displays with adjustable settings, including averaging, which helps in spotting weak signals without straining your eyes. The waterfall function is particularly useful for visualizing signal strengths over time, making it easier to identify and tune into signals that might otherwise be missed. Both radios come packed with features but let's highlight some unique aspects. The Yaesu FT710 AESS includes a built-in high-speed automatic antenna tuner with 100-channel memory. It supports the FC40 auto antenna tuner that has two USB ports, Type-A and Type-B, for easy connectivity. The SD card slot allows you to save settings, screen captures, and update firmware. An interesting feature is the preset mode. Optimized for FT8 operation, making it a breeze for digital mode enthusiasts. However, it's worth noting that you cannot use the FH2 keypad if a linear amplifier is connected, which might be a drawback for some operators. The ICOM IC7300 also features a built-in automatic antenna tuner, though it can struggle with SWR above 3.1. It offers USB connectivity for simple digital mode setup, and includes an SD memory card slot for saving data and updating firmware. The RF direct sampling system and 15 discrete bandpass filters enhance performance, reducing noise levels and improving overall signal quality. Now let's talk about price and overall value. The ASU FT710 AESS is priced around $1,000, offering exceptional value for its high-end features and performance. Considering its advanced SDR technology and outstanding receiver capabilities, it's a strong contender for those looking to get the most bang for their buck. The ICOM IC7300 is also around $1,000, priced a few hundred dollars less than some of its direct competitors, remains one of the best value radios on the market. It provides a balance of performance, features, and ease of use that appeals to a wide range of operators. It's an excellent option if you're looking for a high-quality rig without a hefty price tag. So after putting both radios through their paces, which one comes out on top? Well, it ultimately depends on your specific needs and preferences. If you prioritize top-notch receiver performance and don't mind tweaking settings to get the perfect transmit audio, the Yaesu FT710 AESS might be your ideal choice. Its advanced SDR technology, exceptional selectivity, and portability make it a powerhouse, especially for CW operators and those who enjoy fieldwork. Just be prepared to possibly invest in a better microphone or adjust the audio settings to suit your taste. On the other hand, if you value an intuitive user interface, excellent out-of-the-box performance, and a touchscreen experience, the ICOM IC7300 is hard to beat. It's user-friendly, making it great for both newcomers and experienced hams alike. The Spectrum Scope is superior in terms of customization and ease on the eyes. However, keep in mind that its internal antenna tuner might struggle with higher SWR antennas, so you might need an external tuner for more challenging setups. In the end, both radios are fantastic choices that offer incredible value for their price points. You really can't go wrong with either. It's all about what features matter most to you. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive into the Yaesu FT710 AESS and the ICOM IC7300. If you've had experiences with either of these rigs, share your thoughts in the comments below.